This, I, I think, is very interesting. And, I, and I, I wanted to bring this to your attention that over 400 Lansing Public School students today will be introduced to opportunities in the field of construction and engineering and things like that. You wonder, how does, a, how does a, a young kid who maybe has an inkling toward something like that, we always talk about we need more stuff going on in the trades. Today, the skilled trades leaders are going to bring this all together under the Construction Science Expo. Here to talk about that is the Executive Director of Michigan Aggregates Association, Doug Needham. Hey, Doug, how you doing? Well, good morning, Mike. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. Now, uh, when you start your day, no, I'm great to have you on. I'm glad to, to have you here because when you start your day, do you just instead of a regular belt, do you put on a tool belt and a hard hat before you even have breakfast? I bet you do. Uh, just steel-toed boots, uh, and then <laughs> once, then 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 we switch to a hard hat and safety goggles. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, OSHA, <laughs> always safe, always safe. Tell me what's going on with the uh, the Construction Science Expo. You're gonna have it's over 400 students, right? I got the number right. Yes, you do. Yeah, this is our second year hosting it here at Impressions Five uh, in Lansing, and we're super excited. So it is an opportunity. This is our uh, over 12th year overall. We did start this in Detroit a number of years ago. Uh, and we did bring it to uh, Impression 5 just because it's a fantastic venue to showcase, one, science, and two, uh, expose kids to various careers in, as you said, the construction industry. Whether a student wants to be an engineer, design our roads and bridges and sewers, uh, or if they actually want to be the individual that's out there doing the work and, and putting their stamp on it, uh, today is the opportunity for students to get a true hands-on experience as far as what does an engineer do? What drives an engineer? What made someone decide that's the career path they wanted to do? And then conversely, what is it that gets a skilled trade worker up in the morning uh, and fired up and ready to go? And what were some of the you know deciding factors for those individuals to get into the industry? So we want them to take away today, you know, what uh, important role each of these fields have, you know, whether you want to go to a four-year traditional college or you want to get your other degree, which is your skilled trades, uh, our crumbling roads and bridges are not fixing themselves. And we need to have the next wave of professionals ready to come on in and and tackle that problem. Yeah, we're going to have a later on uh, next hour, we're going to talk about local road conditions from uh, the County Road Association. And yeah, it's not a pretty picture. So yeah, we need young minds. We need young energy. This is a way to tap into that. I got to tell you, Doug, now, how old are these kids? How are these high school kids, all of them? They are. They are high school students. Uh, We try to tap into that middle age to early high school just so that students have the opportunity to look forward. You know, not everyone really wants to go to college. Uh, That may not be them. They don't want to have that traditional go to a university and and study all nights of the hour. And so we don't want those individuals to fall off and say, there's no career path for me. And that's where if we can get them early enough and expose them to the other options that they can stay engaged and, and really excited about a future career. And that's kind of the key. You know, if you're going to be college bound, typically you're you're taking college prep courses and that's what you're ready to do. Um, But there are some students that really aren't sure what they want to do. And we just want them to know that we we are the industry for them. I was always a hands on kind of learner. And, you know, science, when you started saying science to me, I glossed over. I was like, I'm not wearing the lab coat and not lighting on the, you know, as much as I liked lighting a flame on the Bunsen burner, uh, I was not, you know, but when it was experiment day, hands on time, all in. I loved it. So is there a lot of hands on stuff? I mean, are there booths set up and they, and they, they get their hands in there and say, oh, OK, maybe this is something I didn't think about. Yes, students are going to be using jackhammers. They're going to feel what that's actually like. They're going to be Come operating on. little mini. They're going to be operating mini excavators, <laughs> placing barrels on top of things. Uh, we have the plumbers and pipe fitters, so students can actually put together uh, some different configurations and cement masons. So they're going to be able to get their hands dirty using uh, the the mud to to build uh, in place oh. bricks. So. There's going to be a lot of definitely hands-on in the skilled trades, but also in the engineering part, they're going to be bringing in water tables 
to explain to students how water flow impacts bank stability and building roads uh, with uh, different props to show them how different things hold up over uh, different conditions. So it's definitely a hands-on experience so they can see, you know, what, what impacts uh, different configurations would yield. Yeah, Doug Needham, Executive Director, Michigan Aggregates Association. When you said jackhammers, I was all in. I kind of want to be a kid now. I kind of want to show up. I, and, yeah, I have I have yet to see a kid not smile when they are sitting there <laughs> holding those up. You know, it kind of becomes a, a strength test. Um, but, you know, there is some finesse to that, and that's where the laborers show individuals that you don't have to really fight it. You have to just use it in the way the tool is designed. Well, and even just the heavy equipment stuff and that. My dad, when I was a kid, and I don't know, maybe dads don't do this as much as maybe they used to. I don't know. My dad, was, I got the hands-on stuff from him. That's who, He was a genius in math, but there was no way going to be a, a lab guy. Uh, yeah. It was just well, natural. Numbers came natural to my dad, not to me. And he saw that early on. <laughs> but he would take me like to construction sites, and we'd sit and watch the equipment work. We'd sit off in the distance. He'd go, look at that crane. Look at that. Look at that. And and so I guess how do you determine which kids go to this thing, take the day off school, and go to the Construction Science Expo? Are teachers recommending them? We are, yeah. We've partnered with the Lansing School District uh, for this event, and they have reached out to uh, about seven schools uh, and solicited students that would be interested working with the teachers, working with the CTE program, uh, to try to say, hey, here are some students that we believe would benefit from that. And we are limited to 400. Uh, that is the capacity where we're at. So we we have the last two years, we have reached our capacity. And, you know, we'd love to expose uh, our industry to more. But, um, you know, this is this is where this is where we're at. That's good stuff. Doug Needham. We need mo- we need a more of these kind of things, Doug. Maybe that's your marketing <laughs> phrase. Seriously, Impression 5, what a what a great uh, venue as well. So yes. mom and dad, maybe your yes. kids are going to this thing. You know by now if your kids are going and if they are, good on them. Good on them. Yeah. Doug, thanks a lot, man. We I'm glad this is going on. Well, Mike, we appreciate it, and, and thanks for helping us spread the word. Yeah, no problem. Let me know anything else I can do to help. Doug Needham. All right, have a great day. Thanks. Yep, 1320 WILS.